Ladies and gentlemen, if you, like many of our viewers and clients, have found yourself in a situation where you're ready to make the move, but you're waiting for the market to bring you something special, something incredible, something value-packed in the right neighborhood, in the right school district, kind of in the heart of St. George, surrounded by everything that this area has to offer, and on top of that, have a lower than usual utility bill because it's on Dixie Power, well, this home might be for you. In fact, this home is under 900,000 because it's currently offered at just 899. We wanted to show you this property to, to put things in perspective, what homes under a million look like in St. George, Utah. This property has five bedrooms, four bathrooms, 3,374 square feet, and it sits on a 0.23 acre lot and it has an RV garage. Before we get into this tour, I'd like to thank the listing agent, uh, Nathan Schaefer and Dusty Wright for presenting us with an opportunity to tour this beautiful home. But without further ado, let's just dive into it and go check out this home. So right off the front, uh, we have some zero scape artificial turf landscaping. And as you enter into this property, there is a courtyard that takes you into the casita and this beautiful metal door that takes you into this property. I have one point of criticism. I think the brighter light bulbs would make this tour a little bit more appealing, but you could imagine this home with a slightly brighter lighting. Right off the entry, we have a massively open floor plan. And this home is not diced up because a lot of two-story properties that we see have kind of a dicey floor plan where it's, it's not as open. This property does not suffer from that. It has an open flowing concept that from one point you can see the entire living room, dining room, and the office. But let's start from the office and the entry here. This is a front bedroom slash office that has these massive windows that let in lots of natural light. And it's a really good size room. It has solid flooring, much like the rest of the property. And this room has an extra large storage closet, which could be great if this is your office and you have a bunch of stuff that you don't necessarily want to have right in front of you. This is set up almost like a pantry, this closet is shelved all the way through, which is a great touch. You enter this space through a set of French doors. And then this home also has a ton of storage. It's designed to be a family home with lots of needs for storage. So there's a coat closet right off the front. And now we enter the living room. Beautiful fireplace with solid surface stone finish right by the fireplace and a large beam mantle. And take a look at these countertops. I haven't seen a lot of countertops like that and I feel like the color of the tops plays nicely with all the cabinetry and the flooring in this home. Lots of counter space on the surrounding counters, gas appliances, nice large sink, Look at the size of this, wow. And this island is massive. Yeah, and then I would say it's, it's maybe a five by nine. I could post the exact dimensions uh, in the description, but yeah, it is a massive, massive center island. And the amount of storage in this kitchen is insane. So you've got cabinets everywhere. You've also got cabinets on the other side of this center island. Yeah, the center island cabinet is a nice touch. You've got lots of storage underneath, which usually that's a wasted space when you have an island that's that big. But in this particular case, you could throw your pots and pans and stuff that you don't need to reach for every day. Now, another really cool aspect of this house is the pantry, which pantry is that way, right? Nope, heading right that there. way. Yep. We've got, there's actually like several storage pantries in the home. I couldn't find it because it's a hidden pantry. Yeah. 
And usually a hidden pantry that you would imagine would end kind of right here, but this one just keeps going. Yeah, it's huge. There's an outlet right beside that door, so you could put some of the small appliances here. And then the space across from the pantry is your under stairs closet, which could be, you know, for more bulk items or things that maybe a utility closet. That's also a really nice touch. While we're here, this door takes us in the garage, which is also a great touch because if you're like us and you go to Costco to buy your groceries, having a pantry right next to your garage is super functional. This property has a two car plus RV. RV garage is not super deep and I can provide you guys with the exact dimensions if needed, but it does have a 14 foot door and that's quite a bit of space. I like the natural light, the windows in here as well. Yeah. It's a nice touch. Yep, and uh, this property has two water heaters because for a property that size, if we've got four people taking showers, it is really nice to have extra hot water. On the other side of the kitchen, we have this massive laundry room and Directly across from the laundry room entry is the master uh, bedroom entry, but I wanted to show you guys this laundry room first because it will take us there anyway. Beautiful granite countertops, lots of upper and lower cabinets in this space. And then we have another area to store stuff, really large fully shelved closet, more counter space. And now we enter into this massive master dressing, which is Really good size. Yeah, this is huge, this is awesome. And then that takes us into a master bath. Nice large soaking tub, dual vanity, another beautiful countertop that I haven't seen before. This countertop has leather finish and some nice cabinetry that matches the cabinets throughout the rest of the house. Directly behind me is the water closet and here we have a beautiful walk-in shower with two shower hats. Soaking tub is a nice touch. The master suite has several large windows and a door that takes you into the backyard. And it's generous in size. You comfortably fit a king size bed and still have room for nightstands and bedroom furniture. Let's head over to the guest wing of this house. Notice there's a, an outlet in the floor for um, any kind of power furniture. Super nice to have. And as we go to the guest wing of this house, the casita is on the front of the home. So this area could be completely locked away and used as a guest suite or some people that have either parents or children living with them. Sometimes it's convenient for them to have their own private entry. As I pointed out to you guys earlier in this video, you could enter this through the outside, through the courtyard, and it could be completely independent from the rest of the house. This casita has a built-in kitchenette with a little refrigerator, upper with um, room for a microwave, and an ensuite bathroom and a closet. So someone could live here pretty much independently from the main house. A super nice touch when you have, especially when you have visitors. Directly outside of this casita is a hallway that takes us down to a full bath with some beautiful tile work above the tub and granite countertops. Nice vanities. And this is the downstairs rear bedroom. It has nice large windows that open to the rear of the property and a walk-in closet. Folks, and if you're watching this video and you're thinking you could see yourself living here, 
This home is available for sale right now. And there is an MLS link in the description below this video. You can click on it. We can schedule an in-person showing if you'd like to check it out or if you'd like us to FaceTime you, we'd be happy to share more details with you about this property. But let's head upstairs. So this upstairs area is a loft above the garage. As you go straight up the stairs, there's another storage area where you can store all sorts of things. I don't know, what would you do with all that storage, Michonne? There's so much, it's, it, it, this is an awesome home if you've got kids and you've got a lot of storage. You probably have to pick up a hobby or two just to fill all that space. So as we proceed down this hallway, we have a full size, uh, full bath with a large countertop and a walk-in shower. That is a huge bathroom. And this is the front bedroom. Now the ceilings are um, slanted because of the trusses uh, in the loft area, but it's still a good size room. Is this is this part of the square footage? Or yeah, am I able is. to Okay. Yeah. There we have a walk-in closet. It's also pretty generous in size. You can see George Washington Academy right out of this window. As far as schools go in the school districts, this home is located no more than five minutes away from all of the most popular A plus rated schools. Oh yeah, and there's the central back right here on every level. Yeah, so there's central uh, vacuum cleaner outlets that are hooked up uh, on every level of this home because there's a lot of carpets throughout the bedrooms. Super convenient to have all the mass, the canister, all the noise, everything out in your garage. And this is a nice big play area. Second living room, yeah. man cave. You can do all sorts of things with that space. And this room has access to the rear patio. The backyard is designed to be zero maintenance. It's mostly rocks, desert plants, some artificial turf, and a beautiful water feature. But if you'd like to put in a pool in this property, you'd be able to easily access the backyard through the side gate. And there's certainly plenty of room to uh, install a pool that's built to your liking. Did we see all of it? Oh, we've got this little storage. This but is it's... attic access. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Great insulation, catwalk, access to everything that you should be able to access. The dining room has a sliding door that allows access to your rear patio in your backyard. There is an installed screen and this opens to your rear patio that has plenty of concrete to set up some patio furniture, a gas line to hook up a barbecue grill. It's a pretty, pretty generously sized patio, I'd say. Yeah, this is awesome. All of your air conditioning equipment is on this side of the property and this block wall basically encases the entire perimeter of the property. So if you have pets, they're pretty easy to contain. This home is ready to go. Here we have some artificial turf uh, beautiful zero scaping that really helps save on water. But if you're not so concerned with saving water and you would like to have a pool, definitely plenty of room for that as well. These flagstone pavers take us all the way back to this side of the house. And actually here you have access for some extra parking and um, you could install a gate or just block it off if, if parking is not important. Folks, thank you for tuning in to check out this video and sticking around this long. If you're interested in purchasing this home or making an offer on it, please contact me. My contact information is in the description below this video. If you're at all interested in relocating to Southern Utah, if you're just doing your research about what it's like to live, work, and play in St. George, please hit the subscribe button. We provide a wealth of information in all of the above uh, mentioned categories. And if you're just doing your research right now, this channel might be a good resource for you. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. 
If you just liked it, go ahead and hit the thumbs down button, but please do me a favor and drop me a comment below. Let me know what could I have done better? What could I do to deserve a thumbs up? In any event, I will see you in the next one.